we're back at it again. This is going to be the last unboxing and review of the year. We're heading into the new year, 2024. So this will be the last unboxing and review for this year. This is going to be Finster from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And here is the box, as you guys can see. Again, just like every other box from Super 7 Ultimates, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, and then you have the ultimate sign on top. And then, let me start from the back. So, once you remove the sleeve off, you get a old school picture of Finster and some information on him underneath here. And like I always do, if you guys wanna pause right there and read the little uh, story about Finster, go ahead. And then the old moment I've been waiting for, and I'm sure you guys have been too. Here is Finster with all his amazing accessories. Oh my God, this Finster looks amazing. Look at the attention to detail. And when I take it out of the box, of course, I'm gonna show it closer. So you guys can see how crazy detailed this figure is from Super 7. And as you can see, we have a few hand gestures here and some of his tools and also his magnifying glass here and a bunch of the monsters that he, you know, makes. And then Rita makes them big and creepy looking. And then he has some of, as you can see, some of his tools on his apron. And that's uh, pretty much it. All right, enough talking. Now let's unbox. And we're going to be also quickly comparing the Super 7 Ultimate Finster to the Lightning Collection Finster. And not for nothing, this figure here is amazing. But let me not get too ahead of myself. Let me unbox this and then we'll go from there. All right, so I unbox everything. And now we're gonna start off with the monster that he makes. And then, you know, when he puts it through his machine, then he grows. And then he looks like this. Little pig, big pig. Pretty cool, huh? See how I put in a slice of pizza in there from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There you go. All right, that's that. And then, the other monster that comes with Finster, it is the Finx, which is this guy right here. Pretty cool. All right, and then the other ones that we have here, these little tiny, I think they're men. Um, I think these are actually the putties, the putty patrollers. So there's three of these. You can use, you can put on Finster's hand, make it seem like he's about to put it in his machines. Um, so yeah, the putty patrollers are, if you guys don't know, are these guys here. And then we know how Super 7 does with their, with their hands. So there's a bunch of um, hands here. Let me just move this out the way real quick. So there's open hands. And one thing that I noticed I didn't know that Finster had uh, gloves on like one hand because so this one see how he has like a light blue glove on so there's a couple of those here and then there's ones that are just regular his, his hands uh, no gloves so there's three gloves and then three other hands different hand gestures so you have open hand this one is almost closed, but like that you can put all, use his tools, pretty straightforward. And two super exciting there. And then you have his uh, tool where he kind of molds his monsters. So he uses this to make these little guys. I think this is how he does it, right? He just goes like that, you know, he makes it out of clay, I guess. And then he just, you know, Makes them. Pretty cool, huh? And here we have his magnifying glass. Pretty cool. And that is it for the accessories. And now we're going to bring in the man himself, Finster. Look how cute and adorable 
this old man he is. Try to get it as close as possible so you guys can see how beautiful this piece is. The attention to detail. This is pretty cool. I have a few things to say comparing it to the Lightning Collection version. Um, but let's start with this one. So I love the fact that the clothing is actual cloth. Like these are, look, real pants. It's not just painted on the leg. Um, this is freaking, makes it look more realistic. Um, all his tools, as you can see, pretty awesome. Like this is the real deal. This is the best Finster ever. But I'm not gonna lie the lightning collection version and let me just bring him in now um that one is like almost close to perfect now now that i see the super seven ultimates version i see there's uh, some differences especially with paint so this is the lightning collection version and then this is the super seven one six inches for the lightning and seven inches for the super seven ultimates all right now the details on the Lightning Collection one is I fell in love with once I got this uh, figure. I was like, oh my God, look how detailed this is. Like, it's amazing. And they're both pretty close there. Like, his apron is a little bit lighter on the Super 7 side. But, I mean, pretty close. So, let's see. So, I noticed that this version, we have some green... Um, paint on the headpiece, I guess, yeah, his hair. The hand the Lightning Collection doesn't have it. As you can see, oh, I noticed I spotted something else. Oh, I like playing this, this game. Um, all right, so we know the hair tips are green on this version. And then the bag, as you can see his bandana, it has some dark blue and then some like light blue and then this one the lightning collection version doesn't there you go pants on this version and then nope uh he has pants here but they're painted on uh, i'm trying to see if i see anything else on the back and i do small things he has these red dots here on his apron and then here it, he doesn't but you can always paint that if you wanted to let's see his his like earrings are really gold he has them on both now let's see let me actually put his tools on this is gonna be hard i think i have to take off his head this is let's see bear with me all right good because i know this was not gonna fit while his head was on. All right, so here we go. Now the front, as you can see on this piece, the only thing I don't like that it's kind of hanging, it doesn't stay down, but that's nothing big. But as you can see, it's red and green. It has like green dots and then the Lightning Collection version doesn't have it. And if you guys are asking, yes, that's Tommy. That fence is holding on the side there. Um, let's see, what else can I find? Apron is pretty on points with everything he has. It looks like they changed a little bit. The tool, like this center tool here, is different from this tool here. So there's a little bit red there where the glasses on the Super 7 version. And then there's no red on the glasses on the lightning collection version i've changed it up a little bit i changed the hands and then i put jason on uh his hands now so now we have two fensters with two rangers on his hands pretty cool i try to make it look similar so we can uh, compare a little bit more but there's just minor differences on his tools on his apron like this tool right here looks just a little bit different from this one and then this center tool here is way different from the center one there. 
and this actual piece right here comes off which i thought it was cool um and the super 7 ultimates one doesn't come off it just everything in here is on there um especially uh this one except this piece right here as you can see it moves finster is literally the original of the tv series the way i can tell is because everything that he has on this photo matches here like let me just bring it up here real quick you can see his clothing is like cloth material his bandana up top same colors and everything else on the picture matches this figure so i love that the ultimates collection are just making them as super real as possible like how they look in the tv series let me bring in the og finster this is no competition but this is original finster and i think a lot of you have seen this one like look at this craziness i mean back in the days we loved this we thought this was the best ever right but yeah this is there's no barely any articulations like it just goes up and down. That's pretty much it. And nothing moves, it's, you know, it's a really old toy. So there's Finster. Let's leave him there because he looks cool. The original OG. This should be around like $55 US. Um, and this is probably, I mean, they have so many sales on Amazon, probably $20 or so. But you cannot go wrong. If you're in a budget, you would be very, very okay with this uh, action figure because it's super close to this version right here. So either way, you can go wrong. And there's some articulations with the legs. Simple bend there. Also with the arms. So you can bend them, you can put them down. I think you can, yep, you can go wide. Finster doesn't really need all the crazy articulations, but he does this basic stuff. Does his mouth open and close? No, that would have been cool. There we go. And the Lightning Collection version, I feel like he does pretty much the same. Doesn't do too much crazy. Like I said, Finster didn't need to, he just stayed in his location making monsters for Rita and didn't really have to do anything crazy. He just made monsters. That's it. Very chill guy. So I think that pretty much does it for this video. I mean, I definitely recommend these two. Like I said, if you're in a budget, the Lightning Collection version of Finster is perfect. I love this figure so much. And I just got this one for Christmas and this is an amazing piece i love the super realistic attention to detail especially with the clothing makes it feel very real and they were on point with every single detail from the original finster so this is the real deal here i don't know if you can get better than this unless three zero makes a 12 inch finster and then that would be something else that's a whole another video but we're gonna wrap it up here so these were my comparisons of Finster. So that's gonna sum up the video. This was a cool, fun uh, video of Finster. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. This is Ariel Diaz and I'll see you guys in the new year. Happy New Year. Peace.